Hey, you doing, everybody? This is Drac Bolt. Uh, just giving you a little update on the Dune 2 Minecraft server that I'm working on. Uh, a couple of things. Um, updated the texture pack recently. Uh, one thing I did was basically take out clouds. There, there are no clouds anymore. I don't think they really fit on uh, the planet of Arrakis, so the clouds are gone. Um, you can see it's nighttime at the moment. And you will also notice that I have changed the texture of water. Water is now quicksand. Um, so there's just sand everywhere. You're not going to see water anymore on the surface of Dune, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Um, server's still updating in the background, so some giant wormholes. I wish I could change the color of the void in the background um, to be, you know, something more in line with the other coloring here, because that, that blue just kind of bothers me, but I guess we'll just let that slide. But this is where the the, uh, the ocean around here basically starts. Uh, if you look closely, you can see uh, the edges of it. Now, there's a spider jumping in and out of it. So you can still swim through it and everything. I mean, I haven't changed the behavior of anything. Um, and also, you will notice that the, uh, the spice is now correctly colored. I'll get down there in a minute and show you that a little bit closer. Um, you'll notice that the trees are all funky uh, because that's a side effect of the other the other changes that had to happen. So basically, I've updated this in the forum. Uh, not only do you need to update the, the texture pack itself, which is pretty simple, you also need to download and, and run the, the MC Patcher, which uh, there's a link for that in the forum as well. And that will normally allow you to run high resolution texture packs for, um, and for Minecraft version 1.4, you'll need to get the, the beta version of MC Patcher, but it works just fine. And you just run it. You don't need to change any of the settings on it. You just run it, and um, and it does the job. And after that, you just basically fiddle with it a little bit, your texture pack. You, you set it back to default, and then you set it back to Dunecraft, uh, which is what I named the, the texture pack for this world. And then, all of a sudden, finally, you get around the limitations where Minecraft was defaulting to using its own colors for for foliage and for um, grass and and water and other stuff like that. So that's the reason why the trees are all white now, um, because I had originally tried to clear the coloring from them and the and the grass as well. Now the grass coloring is cleared, so grass just shows up as spice, but the, the trees are all screwed, and I still don't know. I have, I have no idea what to do with the trees, so any suggestions are welcome. I mean, what should they be? Uh, what could possibly be analogous to something that looks like that in that kind of a shape and that grows on the surface, you know, of Dune? I, I really don't know. I have no idea. So, not sure what to do about the trees. Maybe I should try and make them transparent or invisible or something. I, I don't know. Um, so for now, that's how they look. A little funky, I admit, but there they are. So, um, I'm going to go jump into the quicksand, which will break my fall. Uh, you can see it's still watery underneath. Uh, there's not much I can do about that. I don't know where that spider is. He's probably going to attack me around here somewhere. Um... But anyway, you get down here and you can say that it's, you know, it looks like you're moving through sand. And actually it's kind of a cool effect ah, when you when you see the quicksand move like the water normally does. It's kind of neat. You know, and obviously if you stay under long enough, it'll kill you. It doesn't pull you down the way quicksand should, but I still think uh, I think it's it's pretty cool. This was a suggestion of, of uh, frontliners, and I thought it was a good one. And it didn't turn out to be that hard to implement, so... So yeah, no more water on the surface of Dune. It's always good. And here's the spice. Spice actually looks like spice. The exact same texture and the color and everything from the game. So looking from overhead now, you'll see vast expanses of open desert, which is kind of sort of water, but now it's quicksand. And then you'll see these, uh, these dune areas. You'll see the spice areas. And then you'll see um, you'll see some open, uh, unspiced grass areas, which basically just look exactly the same as the quicksand. Um, but you can always tell the quicksand because of the edges, at least, and sometimes the motion. 
So those are the uh, those are the recent updates. If you get the MC Patcher and you run it, then all of a sudden the colors for the spice are going to look correct, even for the old patch. And then if you even for the old texture pack rather. And then if you update the texture pack, you're going to see that water has been turned into sand as well. So um, so that is it for now. Um, oh, you'll, and, and if you update the texture pack, you'll also see that the clouds are gone. So um, anyway, this is a work in progress. We're going to keep hammering away at it until we make everything look the way it should and get the world set up. I realize that having a boat in the middle of quicksand is a little strange. Um, and actually, that brings me to something else. If anybody out there has experience, uh, you know, if anybody knows how to change actual creatures and mobs and stuff, um, actual, uh, the actual 3D models, you know, the actual meshes or, I mean, whatever. If anybody knows how to work on Minecraft stuff deeper than just texture packs and, you know, you want to have a hand at changing some of the mobs and maybe some of the other stuff, then feel free to mention it on the forum. I, it would be very cool to include something like that. Because my first thought is, if all this stuff is going to be sand now, then a boat should obviously be a trike or something else you can get on and, and basically act like you're driving around on the sand. Um, and maybe, you know, maybe it's strange that it stops or crashes when you reach, you know, uh, an actual beach or something, an actual area of dunes, but hey, you know, we can rationalize that all kinds of ways. I still think it would be cool if that boat looked like a trike. And then there were some other suggestions, like um, um, the Slow Kiwi had a suggestion about the creepers, that they should look like saboteurs from Dune 2, which I think is awesome. But then the model would need to be changed, and I don't I don't know how to do that. So, um, so there you go. Just a quick update. Feel free to... Hop into the forums and pick this up. And um, if you're a donator at the forums, you will already have access to this server, so you can jump in anytime you feel like it. If you're not a donator, you're just going to have to wait until we get this thing uh, in the shape that we want it to be in. And um, eventually, I hope to make it public. So uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon.